So we're going to move on to half square triangles. In, in this particular pattern, there's a lot of half square triangles. I will show you one on here. There's one there. So it's two pieces of fabric sewn together and then cut and made into half square triangles. So the way I'll show you is, there's two ways actually. One, you can just draw a, a, a line through the centre of one of the pieces of fabrics you're going to use. So you've got two different coloured fabrics. Um, you could draw a line through the centre of that and then so using your quarter inch foot, sew a quarter inch seam either side of that line. But I absolutely love these Pauline Rogers precision tools and this is one specifically done, made for, for uh, half square triangles or, triangles or quarter square triangles. So basically you put the uh, tool into the corner there, there's a point there, looks like an arrow, put that into the corner there and then the line that runs through the middle goes straight through the corner of the other side. So you line that up and with your chalk pencil Draw a line either side of that and then you have your two lines. It's probably not that noticeable but you've got two lines down there and you would put it together right, this is the right side, right side together with your other one. Pin it in place because you're a beginner and it's a good practice to do because it does slip around a little bit when you're sewing and then you're ready to go to the sewing machine and sew down those two white lines. Now you're going to sew it together, the two, the two squares together. So you just sew along those white lines. Just take it steady so that you don't go off the lines. Down one side and back the other. You don't really have to change your foot for this. Uh, on the machine. And there you have your two lines sewn down there. We need to cut this down the middle. So you'll cut that down the middle there and then we'll take it to the ironing board. So when you cut it down the middle, you go from corner to corner, but it's a good idea just to check, okay, those lines that you've sewn are on the quarter inch and they are, which is good. And then cut directly down the middle and you have two half square triangles. So we'll take those to the ironing board and then we'll finish them off. We've got our half square triangles and we want to iron the seam on the back. So once again, go to the dark side unless other, otherwise specified in your pattern. So you just lay it out flat, gently, don't stretch it too much because this is cut on the bias and cut on the bias means it has got a lot of stretch in it and can go out of shape. So you've I've ironed that one, I'll do the second one, iron it to the back, just stretch it out a little bit but not too much, turn it over and then iron it on the front, nice and flat. Next we're going to actually trim it back to the right size. Time to trim them back. So when you actually cut a half square triangle, the original squares, they're cut slightly bigger so that you can trim them back and get a really good finish. Because you have to cut those little dogs off the end there. So what you do is you line the middle seam up with your 45 degree uh, angle on your little ruler. I'm using a, a little four and a half inch ruler because it's only a three and a half inch block that we have to cut it back to. So you line your three and a half inch in there, check if it's, sometimes it, it might be, sometimes you might get uh, a square that's quite good and you don't have to trim it back that much, but this one needs to be trimmed back all sides. So put that three and a half, uh, the 45 degree over that seam, make sure that three and a half is in here and then cut both sides. And then turn it around, get the three and a half once again on here, the 45 degree angle over the seam, cut. Sometimes those little dogs don't want to come off. And then you have half square triangle.